and bless their voices as they lift up the songs of Zion unto you. We pray for the musicians tonight. We pray you're anointed on them as well. Lord God, we pray for the ushers tonight that you will bless them indeed. Lord God, we pray for uh, these leaders, Lord, these pastors, Lord God. Father, as they lead us and guide us and direct us tonight, anoint their minds and anoint their voices. We pray in the name of Jesus. And Father, we believe you now that when it's all said and done, Lord God, when you have done everything that you wanted to do, Father, when you have said everything that you want to say, and Father, when we get ready to leave this place, Father, we will declare that it was good to be here. Father, that we will have received all that you wanted us to do. And Father, that we won't just be hearers of your word. But Father, we'll be doers of your word as well. And we'll be so careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. For it's in the matchless name of your son, Jesus, we pray and we give you thanks. And all the people of God said amen, amen, amen. amen. and amen. Amen. And in the same spirit, amen. Continue to worship God, amen, as we turn it over to the praise team to lead us forward. Good evening, saints. Good evening, saints. How many of you need to be filled up on this evening? Yes, tonight is the last night of revival. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you would stand with me as we reverence the Lord on this evening. Glory, hallelujah. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Usher in the spirit on this evening. Praise his name. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Let me hear those hands clap. Let me hear those praises. Give praises and reverence to the Lord on this evening. Worship him. Worship him. He blessed us to be here this evening. We just want to thank him. Thank him for filling us up. Till I overflow, I want to be with you, I want to be with you, fill me up, until I overflow.
Till I overflow I wanna run over Do you wanna run over
All right, let's do what the song says. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, everybody clap your hands. Come on, everybody clap. This is the last night of revival. Can I be frank? Can I be honest? It's like we sitting waiting for something to happen. Instead of getting in and praising God. The Bible says in Psalms 22 and 3 that God inhabits the praises of his people. So let me ask you, based on the praise that we just did, is that a praise that God can have? I think not. Is that a praise that's going to get us there? I think not. If you are able, stand on your feet and give God your best praise instead of waiting for something to happen. Instead of waiting for, I don't know what to do. Come on, we've been in this thing too long to be amen spectators. If you want true deliverance tonight, you got to be a participator. You got to clap your hands with some enthusiasm. You got to clap your hands like God did something for you. You got to clap your hands like you know he's a good God. The Lord is pity paying God. So I'm going to ask for permission. Praise me. And we can sing that song just a half time. Amen. With a little bit more enthusiasm. Like God that did something for us. Come on, man. That's the only type of praise amen, amen. that's going to break the anointing.
have your whole world team. Pass the tickets. Come on up, sir. Come on up, sir. Come on up, sir. Come on up, sir. Come on. I need somebody to slap me in the back tonight. Come on up, sir. Put your hands up and pass on me. Good day. Good friend, good brothers. Great man of God. Amen. Amen. Ain't God good? Amen. Ain't God good? Amen. Amen. We're going to, amen, get ready for our offering. Amen. I'm going to ask, amen, Pastor. St. Pastor Palmer, amen, if he would come and lead us further, amen, and with structures how to be able, let's receive him as he comes. Amen. 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 Somebody give God a hand praise. Amen. 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 If God's been good to you. Come on. Come on, give him a praise if he's been good to you. Amen. Amen. How many people was here on the first night? Amen. How many people was here on the second night? How many people made the Trinity, man? All three yeah. nights. Hey, Amen. Have God been good to you? Yeah. Have God been blessing you? Yeah. Hey, Amen. So we just grateful, hey, man. We do give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hey, Amen. To who's the head of our lives, hey, Amen. We thank God for the Pastor Monroe. Hey, Amen. With us, hey, Amen. Pastor Jenkins, praise God for him. Amen. Hey, man. Pastor All. Hey, Amen. And our overseer. Come on, put your hands together. Amen. For our overseer, amen. Our pastor, amen, of Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. Amen. So I'm going to ask y'all to do us a favor, amen, as we prepare to give, amen. I need y'all to make some noise tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is the last night, amen. And then back, back, back then when they used to have those revivals, they know. But they brought a praise on the last night. Yeah. Amen. They brought some noise on the last night. Amen. So as we prepare to give, amen, we want to steal you and make some noise, amen, in our giving. Amen. Because I found out that it's better to give than receive. But I also found out when I give, he gives. Press down. Shake it together. And run it over. I don't know about y'all, amen, but I can just stand a running over blessing, amen. I can stand a press down blessing, amen. That's why I don't mind giving, amen, because God truly, amen, he returned it, amen. So we're going to ask you tonight, amen, if you have electronic payment, amen, that you want to give, amen, in the back. Brother Eric will show you. Uh, he will lead you into the office where you may give in the back, amen. We also have electronic payment as well throughout um, the cash apps if you want to be a blessing that way or, or you can go to our website amen Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church you can go there and be a blessing as well amen. but those that don't want to do electronic <laughs> and you brought that soft money tonight somebody shout soft money, soft money. oh y'all saying it like it's y'all money somebody shout soft money. soft money one more time for the Holy Ghost somebody shout soft money soft Amen. If you brought that soft money tonight, amen, we're going to ask you to walk tonight. And if you can't walk, amen, we'll come get, we'll come to you, amen. But God loves a cheerful giver, amen. And I just, I'm just crazy enough to believe, amen, that what the seed that you're about to sow is not a bill that you owe. Hallelujah. I don't think you heard me, man. The seed that you're about to sow is not a bill that you owe. Amen. And I know, amen, that you're sowing on good ground, amen, tonight, amen. So we're going to ask you, amen, tonight, if you don't mind resting on your feet tonight, and we're going to trust God in our giving. Somebody shout again. Oh, my God. Y'all getting lazy on when we start talking about money. We're going to trust God. Somebody shout again. Hallelujah. We're going to trust God on the third night, amen, because God has been good to us one, two, and tonight is third. Is somebody going to get delivered tonight? Yes, amen. Just because you gave. Amen. Somebody going to get set free just because you gave tonight. Amen. So I'm going to ask you if you don't mind if you will follow my direction. Amen. If you don't mind standing tonight. Amen. And 
Amen. And those that are to my right, amen, if you would start from the back, amen, and just come around, amen. Hallelujah. And as you're coming, amen, we're just going to help you struggle on last always. Hebrews 4. 
Right. If you need Amen. time, just say you. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> love it, I love it. <laughs> and it reads thusly. Let us therefore fear, mm -hmm. lest the promise being left of entering into the his rest, mm -hmm. any of you should seem to come short of it. Mm -hmm. For unto us was the gospel preached, mm -hmm. as well as unto them. But the word preached un not profit unto them, mm -hmm. not being mixed with faith. In it they heard it. For we which have believed mm -hmm. do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my truth, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day for all his works. Amen. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Amen. 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 We certainly thank Brother Smith, amen, for the reading, amen, of God's holy word. Amen. 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 Let's start getting praise. Amen. 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 And now it's time for the main course. Yeah. We've had the hors d'oeuvres. Yeah. We've had the appetizer. Yeah. Amen. And now it's time for the meal. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And coming other than the angel of this house, yeah. amen, overseer Dr. Stanley Murray. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many came expecting to hear a word tonight? How many came expecting for greater tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all was going to mess with him. I ain't going to mess with him. I ain't going to mess with him. That's my big brother. I love him. I love him. I've come to admire him of all the the years that I've been, that I have known him, plus he's a Cowboys fan, so we can't be bad. We can't be bad if he's a Cowboys fan. Hey Amen. I rebuke that cold spirit in the back. Amen. That cold it ain't feel right in my spirit. Amen. But one thing I can say, Amen. Second Timothy five seventeen it says that the elder that rules well be counted worthy of double honor. Watch this, especially those who labor and the word of doctrine. And Mount Zion, does, does Dr. Murray labor in this house? Yeah. Yeah. And he's worthy of double honor. Yeah. So why don't you rest on your feet and point your hand towards this pulpit and say, God bless, God bless. Pastor Murray. God bless, God bless. Pastor, Murray. God bless. Pastor Murray. One more time for the Holy Ghost. God bless, God bless. Pastor Murray. You're the handsome overseer. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Come on, it's revival time. You don't sat down long enough. You don't sat down long enough. I'm looking for some worshipers and some praises tonight. If I wanted somebody sitting in a chair to prop somebody, I'm looking for somebody looking for a blessing tonight. Weeping day is good. Y'all don't want to have no church. Let's get there, though. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I labor, burn down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
they call the people on me. If I go down the street, they'll call the people on me. So I might as well shout exactly where I'm at. It don't take all I know. I know. But obviously you haven't been through nothing. When everything looks like was tore up, I come tonight. I'm talking about me. I come tonight for my release to do God's work, to do God's will, to do God's way. I don't need no nice singles. I don't want no diamonds. Give me room so I can pray. Cause anybody won't greater Play time is over Being bougie time is over Being distinguished is over It's time to let it out Shout Praise While you still can verse 13. <clears throat> Book of 
first Peter chapter one. Start on verse 13. If you have it, please stand for the reading of the word of God. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, starting with the 13th verse. <clears throat> he says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. But as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in some, in most, in all manner of conversation. The pilot text verse 16 said, because it is written. Repeat after the be ye holy. For I, For I am holy. Am holy. You may be seated. to our God, to his son that died on Calvary's cross, to our comfort yet still the Holy Spirit, to all of those thus far visiting or guests of us for the first or second or third time, we pray thus far you have experienced the presence and the power of the Lord. To my great brother in tonight and visit us, Pastor Ray. Bless you, sir, for being with us tonight. Amen. Pastor Jenkins for being with us tonight. Amen. To the first proprietor of the pulpit on Wednesday night, Pastor James Monroe. Amen. To my brother, who's out on assignment yes. at one of the local facilities of incarceration, yes. Bishop Frank Murphy, put your hands together for him. Amen. But where would they be? If it was not for the sun in their flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Put your hands together tonight for Lady Monroe and Lady yeah. <laughs> Boy, oh, we are something about each other together. Mm. To the best church my side of hell. Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church where we love him. Ain't nobody gonna run you out. All right. Amen. Don't you want? Yeah. Amen. Go ahead and slide steps up. Ooh. <laughs> to the rain in my boat. chocolate put in my pudding pot. What's that? I got one more. Don't you be embarrassing me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the first day to make a very And all of our glory. Amen. We're excited tonight. We're going to be strong. I promise you won't be long at all tonight, but we will be fulfilling this word of God. 
as I sat here these last two nights being just filled with the spirit of the word, these two gentlemen came and brought authentically in their own manner, in spirit and in truth. And I asked God, what would you have to remind us of this week? What would you have us to remind us that this is the last month of this year, that we move into another year, hopefully with new changes, aspirations, and inspiration. Uh, what good is a New Year's resolution without New Year's restoration? Many people want to have something they want to project to do, but not have the options or the integrity to do it. And I come out encouraging tonight that this is a new season God is expecting of us and that what we have been doing has been acceptable for this time, for this now. But going into a new future, you have to ask yourself, what more can I do? What good was a revival if I didn't prepare my mind to come to it? What am I changing at home that will show up on my job? What am I showing up on my job with that will change when I get home? What preparations am I preparing myself, not just me, but those who reside around me, to be greater in God? The Bible clearly tells us here, Peter, who was one with Jesus. Now, the Peter came with some issues. Mm. I know you all are Holy Ghost filled, five baptized, never had any issues going on. But, but some of us still on the yeah. press. Yeah. Peter had a mouth on him. Yeah. He wasn't scared about the mouth he had on him. <laughs> Peter had an anger problem. Mm. But every now and then, sometimes you need somebody around you that's mad. <laughs> mad that folk ain't coming to church. Yeah. Mad that folk ain't getting the Bible study. Right. Mad that folk ain't here for Sunday school. Yeah. Mad that folk ain't tired and preaching and teaching yeah. and saying what says the Lord. Somebody ought to be mad about it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Now I got no Peters in here tonight. I see. <laughs> <laughs> but Peter, who really was limited in his educational background, talks about it in part of the Bible. He says he gives honor to Sylvanus. To his cousin, to his brother, to his friend yeah. who helped him to write this. He, he, he knew he was limited, but he had experiences with God and now were exposed through the word. Mm -hmm. Peter took the note to write some 65 years after the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This yeah. first Peter. Yeah. 60th book in the Bible, 21st in the New Testament. Yeah. This book carries with its five beautiful chapters, 105 verses, 2,476 King James words. Right. It's about broken down by five chapters. The first chapter talks about the blessings of God, mm -hmm. the integrity of having holiness not just around you but within you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Chapter 2 talks about the relationships and how important it is not to have religion. Religion will only get you three credits at UCF. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about having a relationship with God that it bothers you when you are not in tune and insightful with him. See, we made it. Let's be honest. Let's be transparent for a second. We're going to do this tonight, right? we be transparent tonight? Okay. What we begin to understand is that COVID allowed me to say that I can no longer, no longer do something. And all I needed was a match to strike that because I was already trying to figure out how I could get out of something anyway. Right. And so what I did was I found a way to maneuver my way around into it that I could make justification through it. But at the end of the day, as COVID moved on, I did not. Okay. I began to get stagnated. I began to get docile. I began to get uh, finding myself relaxed in my relationship with God. And because I was able to swipe left or swipe right, I couldn't stay righteous. I got limited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I began to find ways not to be a Christian okay. while being a Christian. Mm -hmm. So then I found ways not to be a husband while being a husband, not to be a wife while being a wife, not being obedient child while being. Okay. I found ways to justify my independence. Chapter 3 talks about the suffering. And the Bible says, if you're going to suffer, let it be for good and not evil. Mm. Hence the problem. Won't suffer for my salvation, but I'll suffer for a cigarette. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm by myself. It's, it's, it's okay. 
won't suffer for my praise, but I'll suffer over my problems. Won't suffer over my worship, but I'll suffer over my worries. And what I begin to understand is time moved on before I knew it. It's the end of the year, and I'm less fortunate than I was before the beginning. And I want to encourage you, you need to start checking your inner circle as you move into 2023. There are some people, there are some places, there are some things that you cannot carry into this new year. And you're going to have to start understanding that in order for me to be greater, I got to go back to being grateful. Are you grateful tonight? What we're going to see as we go through the world. Chapter 5 talks about, chapter 4 talks about the holiness and the richness of God. And my brothers and sisters, I don't know where we fell off the wagon on that, Pastor Jacob, but holiness was an apparent talk from the word. Somewhere along the way, we stopped wanting to speak the word because we thought we were offending people, and we were. Mm. But what we didn't recognize, leaders, we were only affecting and, and, and violating their flesh. Right. Their right. spirit was still craving to hear it. Yeah. But we got confused because they didn't come back, and so we thought we were doing something wrong. So we started trying to change whatever they wanted us to Y'all not catching this. They not want us to change what we want. They wanted us to hear. So we started trying to change our sermons to draw people, yeah. to get them to show up and be what we thought they wanted us to be, not what they were supposed to be. So then we went home and started doing what our kids wanted us to do so we could keep them smiling and said, I love mama, I love daddy. With a relationship, they're going to love you anyway because they understand you stand for truth and you stand for spirit. Do I got a revivalist tonight that will stand back and say, I want greater. So, if I had a way to encourage you tonight, Look at your name and say, Pastor's going to preach about, preach about. Holiness. holiness. And so it is. So it is. <laughs> holiness. Holy. And so it is. It's blessed as a young child to grow up in a household that, though it may have been not the best of homes, it was a home. Yeah. Though I might not have had the things of life I would have desired, I thank God for the mother that raised me. I thank God for the community that accepted me. Not just through the miracles, but through my mistakes as well. I thank God for the house of God at that time, Church of God in Christ. Amen. Yeah. Well, sanctification was drilled through your head. Yeah. Going to the movies, sin. Yeah. Women wearing pants, sin. Help us, Pastor. Going to the swimming pool, sin. <laughs> Playing outside at the dog, sin. <laughs> Playing cards, sin. <laughs> Playing checkers, sin. Playing marbles, sin. Playing dominoes, sin. Y'all not catching this. I'm by myself. It's okay. Some people know what I'm talking about. But I thank God because at least it gave me boundaries. And what is wrong with living in holiness and having boundaries? Y'all remember when you come down after your Saturday night, Sunday morning. You was in the church choir and you come down. Uh And you forgot to take that armband or you forgot to wash that stamp off the top of your Y'all would never do that for us. And you had on them dark shades and wasn't no sun out. And that church mother catch you by the wrist and say, Ooh, go sit down. <laughs> and when the altar call came, she told you, get down here. And she made you call him Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. And after a while, you're massing how to go, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And every now and then, you pick up a word, Jesus, Elohim, Jesus, coming to the home door, Jesus, Jesus. And you look up at her, she say, he ain't come yet, go back down there. <laughs> I'm about to tell you, you better start getting back to the natural ways that gave you supernatural power. You gotta start saying, God, I want more out of what I'm doing. And so it is that this holiness that you're looking for, 
is something I gotta start pulling back inside of me. I gotta start self-checking where I'm at. I gotta self-check checking what I'm doing. But most of all, I gotta start self-checking who I am. I know what you say, I know what you do. Who are you? Because who you are would dictate what you say and what you do. People make mistakes, God knows we do. But I don't judge the practices of people. I look at your principles. If you're comfortable living in your sin, then use a sinner. You like lying, use a liar. You like other people, man, you, okay. You want a wife and two girlfriends, okay. You are what you are. When did that become the wrong thing to say? When did we start saying, oh, you can't say that, don't say that, Pastor. Don't, don't offend them with this, don't offend them with that. Well, I stopped by the table. I got a priest to me and the four chairs that's going to be in here with y'all leave. I'm going to see what God say too, because I got to go one day before him and say, God, I told him what you told me to tell him. I gave him what you told me to give him. I live what you told me to live. Do I got in a blood white believer that at least stand up and say, ah, whoa, greater. First Peter 1 and 16, I'm about to get y'all out of here. He says, because it is written. And so it is. The first point says, it is present. If it is written, it has become present. I used to watch a movie all the time, came on back in the day, Pastor. You remember, uh, it was Moses. Yeah. And, and Pharaoh was played by this brother named Yul Brenner. Yeah. Yes. Ball head dude. Yeah. And what he would do was, he would say, so let it be written. So let it be done. And unless he did an amendment to what it was written, it could not be changed, nor could it. Y'all not catching that. And I stopped by and tell you, the word is what it says that it is. It says that if you live by the sword, you but he also said that if you give him that weeping may endure for a night, he said, it's coming in the morning. And I got some blood white believers tonight that said, I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. But I won't complain. It is present. What is written is made the adoration of God. And, and when you adore God, you begin to understand how important it is to not, not mess up your life matching your lips. Mm. I love it. Whatever happened to conviction? Mm. I didn't say doing wrong. We do wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm about it. It's okay. Wife, wait at me. Wait, give me some encouragement. Okay, thank you. It's thing not God, I got a side deal. <laughs> Conviction, my brothers and sisters. Can I can I teach this for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what perfection really is? Perfection is based on your conviction with God. As long as you are convicted, you can say that you're converted. Without conviction, how can there be a conversion? And the problem is, my bad ain't good enough. I'm sorry, ain't good enough. Please forgive me is where I need to go. It should bother me that me and my wife walk back and forth in the house going, mm, 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 You hungry? No. You want to? No. Mm, 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 Five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years go by. The devil is a liar. Hey, you on the mother's board? That devil is a liar. Fix your faith. Go back and tell your husband, man, we can get some stuff straight up in here. If you're going to be the man up in here, I need you doing what men of God do up in here. So I can teach these young girls how to get a man of God that's got a conviction over his heart that'll make things right when it looks like it's wrong. Hold on, ladies. Hold on. Hold on, ladies. 
Stay standing up, I'm coming. <laughs> about holiness, right? Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> happy house, happy spouse. Happy spouse, happy house. Because the man of God you ask for is an alpha dog. That means he makes decisions, he gets stuff done, he got a voice, and he ain't to be questioned every time he say something. So you got to start going to God said, Lord, I don't agree with what he said, but if you told him that, humble my spirit, then I can encourage my man of God to keep making them decisions, because a man who make no decisions can't make no mistakes. So, it is present. Somewhere along the way, we told our children, do as I say. And you wonder why kids tend to love their grandparents. Help It's not because they let them do what they want. It's because they see the order that your parents don't give them. Children still walk in purity. And so when they see the loophole, the flesh pushes them there. But when they get with granny, Nana and Papa, yeah. yes, they recognize there is liberty yes. while there's still order. Oh, Parents tend to try to give the liberty because I want my kids to have what I didn't have. Can I help you? Y'all look like y'all turned all right to me. <laughs> Maybe you made some mistakes along the way. Maybe you said some things you shouldn't have said. Maybe you've done some things you shouldn't have done, but you turned out so far because you're here tonight and willing to say that if it had not been for the Lord, oh who was on my side, yes. no matter what the enemy tried to do to me when I was 12 years old, no matter what the enemy tried to say to me when I was 16 years old, I still understand my purpose. I still understand my purpose. I still understand my promise that I matter and I'm necessary and needed. And so it is present. Then he says here, be ye holy. And so it is. It is present. Now he's saying it is pronounced. Why would God ask us to be holy if it was not obtainable? Why would he ask us, tell us to be ye holy if it was not obtainable? And I have to regurgitate back to you, your holiness is built of your conviction of saying not if, but when you are not in task with the Lord, that you're convicted enough to go before him and lay there and say, Lord, I got some things about me that I do not like and I know you hate. I got some things about me that I need to talk to you in the private so I don't stumble no people in public. I got some things about me that's causing my family to fall apart. And I got to quit blaming the people, the persons, and things that are around me and start taking an inner look at myself, begin to self-assess my joy, begin to understand my peace, begin to understand that my long suffering. Do I got any black white believer tonight that can say in this revival I want to be regurgitated back in God and understand that I am worthy of his love. Brothers and sisters, listen. 
What has happened is we have fell out of love with God. We fell in love with everybody else, everything else, every place else. And so now, the journey with God has become a job. And you know what you do with a job? You quit a job. You resign from a job. You retire from a job. But a journey. We have taught ourselves about destinations, mm -hmm. but we have not heard about destiny. Yes. Destination is only a place for a period of time mm -hmm. until God moves you to a new elevation mm -hmm. and assignment. Yeah. We get stuck mm -hmm. in where we are mm -hmm. and what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And we know, not guess, we know we're not fulfilling our destiny. Yeah. We let somebody, someplace, something speak into our ear gate and tell us we weren't worthy. Mm. And so it is. So it is. <laughs> Pronounced. God has given us the ability mm -hmm. that when we walk in the room, we don't even have to say nothing. Yeah. Holiness pronounces itself. Yeah. When you walk in the room, everybody knows. Yes, sir. They may not be sure. But they know something's different yeah. about you. Yeah. You ain't even said a word yet. You ain't even shook a hand yet. You ain't even had a chance to crack a smile yet. You just walked in the room preceded by the Spirit of God. And I don't know what kind of prayers y'all been doing, but I'm hoping tonight you will change them. See, my prayer every morning is, Lord, who would you have me to honor? And he has not let me down one morning. Mm. Mm. Right. He finds me somebody right. to honor. Right. And it ain't always with no money. It's a smile. Yeah. It's a handshake. Right. And you know I'm going to hit him right in the gut. Where you fellowship at? Yeah. <laughs> Ask yourself, when's the last time you invited someone to your house of worship? Mm. Come on. Last night. <laughs> How many called back when they didn't come? Mm. The flesh will tell you it ain't worth it. Child, and people just don't sit over there and talk about you. They talk about everybody that's in the Bible. <laughs> Child and people just want your money. Walmart wants your money. You don't stop going. <laughs> Girl ain't gonna do nothing but use you. Don't they use you on your job? You know you ain't getting paid what you think you worth. I'm by myself. It's okay. But when you start pronouncing that I'm wonderfully made. Then it should show by my lifestyle. Yes, sir. You know one of the most I'm gonna share a secret. These preachers can attest. You know one of the most hurtful things about being a preacher is that when you're preaching, God shows you visions about the people that are sitting before you. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. And some of the things that He shows you, it breaks your heart. Yeah. Because you don't know how to help them. That's right. You don't know how to get them to see what God is showing you without saying it because you don't want to get ahead of revelation. God is revelation with a confirmation. Yeah, yeah, right. And so God buttons you up where you can't say what you want to say to him. You just have to sit there and just... Yes. Wow. 
But that same ability God gives you in discerning that when you get up in the morning and go somewhere, you have to know that when you go, you go there for a purpose. And because you're there, God wants to use you. And you're not just there because you look pretty. And you're not just there because your hair all down your back. And you're not just there because your shoes match your skirt. And you're not just there because your shirt match your tie. You're not just there because you got a college degree. You're not just there because your dad is dad is dad is daddy was there. But you're there because you're beautifully, wonderfully made. And I want to put you to work for my will and for my way. But I need you to stop believing in yourself and saying when you get up in the morning, I grow greater. So, and so it is. It is present. Be ye holy. It is pronounced. And so at the end he says, for I am holy and so it is present mm -hmm. it is pronounced mm -hmm. it is precious yes. you remember when y'all first came y'all were taking all the notes y'all taking that <laughs> and then somewhere along the way pastor mm -hmm. I quit letting God tell me stuff uh -oh. I shut my book down I closed my library. And all the enemy needs. I was telling my son the other day. He was blessed. He's going this month to play in a national high school football game. But I was telling him on the kickoff, don't look for a hole. Look for a crease. Yeah. That's all you need. Well, that's all the enemy needs. Mm -hmm. Is anything you deviate that's been sustaining you with God to change. Yeah. I tell all of them around me, I set my phone four times a day to remind me to pray mm -hmm. and let my wife know I love her. Amen. Amen. Now, I ain't always done that now. All right. Well, <laughs> Bird was a piece of work back in the day. Ooh, <laughs> Jesus, he was something. <laughs> But I come tonight to tell you uh -huh. that I realize that I can't afford to deviate from that. Mm. Yeah. And I can tell when I don't do it. Yes. What plan has God given you that you're deviating from? Wow. What are you doing different that is creating a wall? Mm. with God. Mm. Yeah, you're doing all the church look. Mm -hmm. And the form of godliness means it looks churchy. That's right. Mm. Church. That's right. But it ain't edifying nothing. Mm. Mm. Sounds good when it comes out your throat. Mm. But it ain't blessing nobody. That's right. mm. Shows up on social media as you hand out boxes. Mm -hmm. But it ain't creating nothing. Yeah. Oh my God. True holiness starts with self-assessment daily. He says, "For be ye holy, for I am holy. So how can I be holy if I don't pray? Oh, how good I sound with the microphone. The Lord is blessing me. <laughs> I'm not holy. Yeah. I don't have a foundational life that matches my lips. Mm. And when did that become offensive? Mm. The word of God is direction, protection, and correction. A.K.A. Love. That's what love is, brothers and sisters. Correction, direction, protection. And the most important person you have to protect from you. He says, for I am holy. It is precious. I was talking, we're in a series right now, Pastor, tithing more than money. I don't care how much I teach it, they keep falling back to money. Yeah. My God. 
I look at it, I try to word it, people keep jumping back to money. It's tithing more than money. But y'all won't get off it. They relate everything back to money. Money is just an instrument God has allowed us to use to correspond with one another, no matter where we're from. Back in the day, it was cattle, livestock, rocks, grain. It's only a method to get things done. But it's not the monument of what we stand for. And so, tonight, he says, because it is written, be holy. For I am holy. And so it is present. That whatever God has asked me to do is already written for me. That sometimes I don't always say it right. And I don't always do it right. But one thing I'm going to start and continue to work on is knowing who I am in God. So that when I do say the wrong thing, oh, I do the wrong thing. My conviction gets me back in line with the spirit of God. And I'm still able to hold my head up and say I'm a child of God. Do I got anybody tonight that's present to hear the Lord speak to them tonight? He said, be ye holy talking about being pronounced. Do I got anybody tonight that's present and says, I pronounce the Lord in the pardon of my sin that I believe that he got on of those and told him that I said, Lord, I need you because he was born in a manger wrapped in swallowing clothing. Sound like he was present to me. Go frankincense and more. Sounds like it was pronounced to me. A star to lead you the way. Sounds like it was precious to me. Is there anybody tonight that will admit to themselves? I ain't where I could be, but I feel a change coming on. I ain't done what I should do, but I feel a change coming on. I don't know about you, but I'm going to tell you a quick story. And so it is. So it is. Got on the cross from the sixth to the ninth hour. So it is. Took a nail in one hand and a nail in the other. One between the feet. And so it is. So it is. Gave seven powerful sayings. And so it is. So, drop his head down in the lumps of his shoulder. Y'all know him, don't you? He's a wheel in the middle of a wheel. He's a bright and morning star. He is a rose of Sharon and a lily in the valley. Y'all know him, don't you? I know he's all right talking about Jesus, he dropped his head down in the lumps of his shoulder. The Bible says he died, the moon red like blood, he died, the world dark on itself, the word, they said the rent of the veil, torn straight down the middle, so you and I walk right in, be said in a bar or two, and so could nothing get out, could nothing get in. I stopped by to tell you, when you got your time, you could cool with the Lord. There you are, just an ugly caterpillar, sitting there, all wrapped up, the same God, wrapped in birth, wrapped in death. All day Friday, there he was on 
on the Sabbath all day Saturday. But uh, 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 one Sunday morning, uh, he got up uh, with some power. Oh, Sounds like, and so it is. Uh, he got up uh, yeah. with most power. Oh, Sounds like, and so it is. He got up uh, with all. Uh, ah, yeah, power in his hands. Uh, if you believe you've been revived, you've been restored, look at your neighbor, say neighbor, and so it is, here I am, look at me, a mistake that's made a miracle, I did it through his grace and through his love, yeah. if you believe you want it all, Gotta give up everything. Is there anybody tonight that says, Take it, Lord, take my peace and give me yours, take my joy and give me yours, take my love and give me yours, and Lord, one more thing, stop by and check on mama, stop by and check on daddy. And check on my wife. Stop by and check on my husband. Stop by and check on my kids. Stop by and swing on my job. Stop by and clean my house. Stop by and fix my car. But God, if you make it to one more time, stop by, stop by and see about me. time when I don't see him. I said, girl, you better fight for your position. <laughs> I'm not saying it in a competitive manner. What I'm saying is you better learn to fight out the devil and do what you got to do. Yes. Get in place. Yes. Can I be transparent? Yes. Your reason without God is a glorified excuse. That's all it is. If you can't say, well, the Lord told me this, then it's just an excuse. I want to offer tonight a great opportunity to trust the Lord. Maybe you're saying tonight, I know the Lord. But I'm not quite sure what it takes to be a Christian. I've heard some things to my mother, my father, my uncle, my auntie. But I have not experienced God for myself. I don't know what a foundation means. I have somewhat of a prayer life, but I'm not consistent in it. And I'm not convicted when I don't pray. I want more. I want greater. person that you want should come. Maybe you're saying, I know the Lord for myself, but I don't have a place of accountability, responsibility, or reliability because I've not been in availability. I need a church home. I don't care what nobody telling you on the TV, the internet, or down at the corner store. 
you need a house of God. That's right. I did three funerals in two weeks. And I was grateful. However, what broke my heart is those three people had no church home. They weren't locked down. They weren't fastened somewhere. And I'm going to step out on a limb. Because I spill the spirit of the Lord. Yes, sir. You notice I'm not singing those songs because I want you to hear what I'm saying. Brothers and sisters, you cannot continue to be around in this world without a purpose. Amen. You ain't no better than the homeless guy. You're just driving a car. Right. Because even the homeless guy know what he, what he do when he get up in the morning. Yes, yes. He go right to that corner. Yes, right. And as far as he's concerned, that's his purpose. Yes, What's yours? Yes, Working yourself to the bone. Won't even get my credit straight. Mm. Won't grade them. <laughs> but really, I just want more. Right. Got relationships broken, I won't fix them. Mm -hmm. Won't be honest and true. Just say, look, I'm sorry. Yeah. And I ain't talking about unsaved people. I'm talking about saved folks. Right. Our pride and our shame is what this Bible really is talking about. The unbeliever, it, it, it's very little that's going to deal with, with him or her. This is a guidebook for us. Yeah to fix things. I got church mothers who wish they could get to church now. Because brothers and sisters don't come a day where well, ain't nobody going to be calling. And ain't nobody going to be coming by. I don't care how much you did for the community. It's just like moves on. And all you're going to have is memories. What are your memories going to be? Yeah. I want to open the floor tonight. I'm going to finish this revival the correct way. There should be one person in this room that got something they need to come to God about. Sisters, our time draws near. And you don't need a seven night revival to tell you what you got God told you the first night. It's just repetition. He's telling you the same thing every night. Let's get it together. And maybe you're saying, you know what, I, Pastor, I got it figured out. And that's fine. Then I'm not, my, my, my job is not to twist your arm about the gospel. But it is to make you aware. Yes. I joke about it. But Pastor, you know why me, you, and Pastor Murphy hang out like we do? It's to remind each other that what we're doing is not in vain. We come together on those podcasts, Pastor. It's to remind us that what we do is not in vain. What do you do? to encourage yourself that what you do is not in vain. If you're not going through something, what are you going through? I'm praying for excellence. I'm praying to those that will hear me tonight on excellence. I just don't want to be at church. I want to be in church because I want to be the church. How many ever seen their parents work themselves to the bone? Well, your pastor 
sisters and their wives do the same thing. Work themselves to the bone. And God ain't never told you to call them in the midnight hour or during the day and say, we love you. I don't want nothing. I just want to tell you I love you. But if you're not doing it for mom and daddy, then I don't expect the call. See, these are the things we have to start regurgitating back, guys. Because one thing I have learned, this word don't stop turning for nobody. Amen. When Jesus himself died and ascended, the world kept turning. So your assignment is just coming back around again and coming back around again and coming back around again. Here's the danger though. The Bible shows God moved on to the next prophet. We all on a timetable. first acknowledge that you are God and before you and like you there is none other thank you O God for Christ our Lord and risen Savior thank you Father for the gift and guidance of your Holy Spirit thank you for eternal salvation Heavenly Father I thank you for this time and opportunity you've given me to stand with those of these of like faith and offer a prayer unto you First, Father, I pray you look upon us all with a compassionate eye. Lord, forgive us our many sins, be their word, thought, or deed. Father, God, cleanse us from all unrighteousness and make us ready, O oh God, for this hour of prayer. Fix us, Father, for this time of asking. But first, we give you honor, praise, and glory. Thank you, O oh God. For everything you've done. Lord, we praise you for everything you've been to us. Trust you for everything you're able to be to us, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we lift up the angel of this house. Dr. Murray, Father God, we pray, oh God, that you restore him even right now. For Father, with preaching, we, he, 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 has, he has availed himself of strength. I pray that you strengthen him right now, Father God. Restore him, renew him, make him ready for another time and call him. Bless, oh God, his household. Bless, Father, the, the queen of his life. Bless her, Father God. Keep her focused. Lord, protect them with angelic protection. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we plead the blood of Jesus upon this house. Upon this revival. Upon this family of believers, oh God. Father, whatever direction you have them going in, I pray that you provide them with heavenly protection. I pray, oh God, that you keep them praying on every move. On every turn, Father. Bless them with the word that only comes from you. For we know that your word could be a light unto their path. Could be a lamp unto their feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bless us right now, O oh God, as we move from this revival. For whatever we receive from the preachers, bless us, God, to apply them to our every circumstance and every one of our situations. Bless us, O oh God, as believers in your word, as children in the body of Christ. Bless us all to be able to affect somebody along our daily journeys. Oh, bless us, God, to be impactful in our conversation. Bless us, God, to be instrumental in our character. 
said, oh God, bless us now to be influential in our conduct in the world. As we get ready to leave this place of worship, going out onto the mission field, please Jesus, please Lord, please Jesus, God, our feet, Lord, through every pathway and every road of circumstance, in the mighty name of Jesus. Teach us to be holy. Bless us to be separate. Give us direction, Father God. Give us wisdom in how to separate ourselves and live separately from the world. That we could be a light in somebody's dark place. Bless now, Father God, this family of believers. Should there be one who don't know you in the part of their sins, I pray that you keep this Mount Zion standing tall. That this could be a mountain that they could come hover around until such a time they receive you as their Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you. Amen. 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 Come on, push your hands together to love the Lord. We will adjourn just as we stand here and love somebody before you leave tonight, y'all. Amen.